go to typically six or seven meetings worldwide uh, over the course of the year. I think the level of participation, the level of seniority of participants, and the topics that we've discussed are by far the best uh, that I've experienced in the last number of years. The vast majority of the meetings that I go to uh, consists of a series of talks uh, in which there's a one-way uh, passing of information. It, and often the talks are quite interesting, um, but one tends to sort of become a little bit saturated with information and sometimes you can see the audience sort of zone in and zoning out. The idea of actually, uh, instead of having a series of talks, to have a series of interactive roundtables is, in my experience, is quite innovative. And um, it, you could see in the, in the room people sort of sitting on the edge of their chairs waiting to be able to um, uh, input their, their ideas or their thoughts about the topic at hand. Um, it didn't become a free-for-all because um, uh, all of the uh, uh, people that were running the program sort of kept a little bit of a leash, leash on the conversation. The thing is, what, what, what I saw in those rooms is I saw people nodding and I saw people writing things down, and, and I was writing as well. And I'm very anxious to get back to St. Louis in order to be able to make a few phone calls to, to take advantage of the things that I've learned at this meeting. I think the idea of a meeting consisting of roundtables as opposed to a meeting of, sitting, of people sitting in a room passively receiving information uh, is very valuable. I've been to many meetings before and in most of those meetings um, it has been a situation of passively sitting in the back of the uh, on the chairs and listening to people, their seminars, their uh, PowerPoint slides, and you know, then I just, that's the end of the meeting, but this is the first time that we were in a situation that we talked, we discussed, and it was the one of the most active interaction that we had with many different uh, investigators in academia, in um, uh, industry, and I think <coughs> this is really one of the best uh, meetings that I've attended because it really gave me an opportunity to find out what others are doing, what their perceptions are, where they're going, and how we can advance our research. We also looked at global issues which are impacting and are challenges uh, in research, and we also discussed what are the opportunities for future, where we are going to go in the long run. I think this is the, one of the best meetings uh, which really, and the format is so wonderful, we did not have to prepare PowerPoint slides, we just had whatever in our mind and discuss and talk about things. The level of the delegates were very high and it were, they, they were really well chosen, uh, <coughs> answering and responding to our office. And this is really great with one-to-one -one meetings with the key point persons that will understand our offer and they might choose it. Was, what I think was most valuable um, was the content for the day uh, and the way that um, our we were we had the opportunity to share um, information about very critical pieces um, of. Um, the uh, technology infrastructure that's required for um, the advancement of personalized health care. format is excellent. It invites interchange between the participants. It invites a good amount of dis discourse between the key vendors and the, their, their colleagues within the industry. Uh, Lewis, uh, I, on behalf of IBM, first of all, uh, we felt that all of the roundtables were very productive. You know, some of the things that the customers are facing, we don't have the answers for those. We just facilitated the roundtables. It's other customers in, in the same room and other people with different experiences who really can help. Uh, people with challenges in different areas. I also like the fact that the roundtables broke out and were big data related, cloud related, next generation sequencing. I think the categorization of the roundtables really helped people focus and go to the ones they cared about. The clinical data strategy meeting was really quite interesting for me. I think the five-track 
um, series of talks enabled me to go back and forth um, in my day between several different to topics of interest, which are different than other meetings where you might focus on, say, EDC in general. Here I was able to talk about EDC, which is very data management specific, um, and then switch in the next session to risk-based monitoring and talking about how the role of the monitoring team and statistician team, as well as the data management team, can all come together to help enable this new way of working in our business. Um, so I really enjoyed the, the multiple tracks and the diversity of the conversations throughout the day. There were a lot of senior level staff participating in the roundtable sessions, which made it very um, interactive and meaningful in terms of evaluating perhaps what my company is doing in a certain area versus what another company is doing and is being successful with, which then will enable me to go back and evaluate whether it's something we can change internally to be a little bit more like others or whether we maybe do have the best practice and um, you know continue on our path the way we've defined it. So, thank you. I found the wrong table uh, really deeply interesting because of uh, three points, three main points. First, a lot of diverse key point people in the research department around the table with uh, very, very precise kind of questions about how to deal with big data, how to deal with the cloud, how to do specific analytic kind of process. And so it was a lot of interactions, a lot of interesting discussions, and uh, people were very alive on the table, so I liked it very much. Yes, I've been really, really pleased with the uh, round table discussions. Uh, a fantastic level of attendees and exactly at the right level that we're looking to, to speak to. Um, the kind of people that are making decisions and the kind of people that actually find the discussions um, with us very interesting. So uh, it's been fantastic for that. It's one thing to read you know, a, a potential solution on the web or in a, in a trade magazine or in a book, but it's another to actually hear the first-hand experience of someone who's actually going through a problem that's very similar to yours. Um, so overall, I think this was an incre incredibly um, valuable opportunity for um, everyone in this research community to um, work together, collaborate on new ideas, and move the agenda of personalized medicine forward. I thought it was a very good day. I thought that um, this is a very unique type of meeting. Um, the fact that we get the opportunity to sit and discuss different topics that we may need to um, enhance within our organization. I thought it was a great opportunity to do that. Um, yeah, the one-to-one -one meetings were really fantastic mm -hmm. as well. I mean, um, that was the, well, that was what I meant to say about. They were the, the, the right level of attendees for us. We were the right level of people to speak to for them. Um, so they're very, very pleased to, to speak to us. Um, I thought that was great. Um, rarely do you get a chance to have a one-to-one -one meeting with um, some of the vendors that were here and the CROs. And so you get the opportunity to just um, specifically identify some things that may need some improvement, especially if you're utilizing that vendor. So I thought it was a great opportunity to sit down with uh, the folks that were represented here and really um, hear their side as well as they are responding to some of the, the needs and wants um, from, our, from our sponsor perspective. So that was a great opportunity. Fantastic experience overall. Really great attendees and uh, it's been very productive for us being here. I can't recommend a conference any higher than I would recommend this one, absolutely.